Of course I did. Um, at the time when I was also very young, you know, when I moved to Celta Vigo, even at Ajax, when I was at Ajax, Ajax Amsterdam fans are the most amazing fans in the world. You know, the best fans, but when we're not playing at Ajax, when we play at Feyenoord, sure, the abuse and the racism that you find. And when you're a kid, you are your first time outside, leave your country to go to Europe. And then you find when you play the whole stadium, they make monkey noise <laughs> and throw bananas and that. That's not nice when you're such a young player, you know, and then you experience that because for me, color is just a reflection. We are all human beings. We are the same because if you take a white person, you take a black person, you take an, uh, uh, a Chinese person, you take an Indian person, you take a knife, you cut all of us, and then you see what color. It's exactly the same, you know? So for me, it's, it's, it's a human race that's the same. But we just have, we have different skin colors. Now because of that, you get discriminated upon. So, so yeah, so over my years, Holland, I've suffered at some places, you know, in the, the whole of Spain. The whole of Spain, I suffered racist remarks, very bad, you know, at times where I didn't want to play even anymore because I couldn't take it. You know, that people calling you all kinds of, so, Spain was hectic, but it was early, early days. Now it's much better. People have come to grips with it and that. Um, Portugal, when you play for your club, they love you. But when you play outside your club, it's different, you know? So you, f you suffer, you face racism like, they call you again all kinds and monkey and whatever, whatever name on the planet with, with black people you can think of, that's what you get called there. But that used to give me even more energy when people are so ignorant and racist about it. Then they make you play better. They make you want to beat their team so bad. So for me, it was good. I enjoyed it when people are like that because it makes me just play better and go there and give it to them, you know? And in England, England was probably the, of my journey, England was probably the, the most respectful, where fans there, they abuse you, but what, they swear at you, your family is this and that and your mother is this and you useless and you this and that and that but racism nah not not that much so i was very very surprised you know that in england you don't hear <laughs> from the opposition fans they just like to they abuse you more than anything else you know like personal abuse where they swear at you and and your family and everything and your kids and that but racist racist abuse no so i applaud the premier league for having such a strong regime and football clubs to make sure that their fans are respectful to to African minority, you know, ethnic, African, ethnic minority and not play the racist card, you know, like, but football is football. Not everybody's going to love you. So you expect fans will have some hatred or anger towards you. 
so they will call you names under under the sun but racism not not that i've encountered you know so so for that um i applaud the english premier league and respect that the clubs discipline their fans or, or football fans they are disciplined and they don't use the racist card as a weapon you know as i experience in other countries but but that was early years you know maybe now is different now people they don't do that kind of things anymore but when i was playing when i started whoo yeah 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 it was tough very tough because i used to i used to ask myself or say it's not my fault my skin is darker than other people i was born this way you know so if people want to want to discriminate they must discriminate the system how we were how we were raised and how we were brought up you know but we can't help it we don't make ourselves you understand and now because you get discriminated upon because of the color of your skin so so that was hard that was difficult for a young for a young kid to understand but you grew out of it and you just get on and then you learn how to deal with things at the later stage and, and that's basically what i did